Here are the 14 warning signs of liver disease hiding in your feet and legs right now, and what to do about each one before it's too late. Your feet are screaming warnings about your liver. Most people ignore these signs until irreversible damage occurs. Up to 100 million Americans have liver damage they don't know about. Their feet already know. One symptom, numbness and tingling, looks exactly like diabetes. Right now, millions are treating the wrong disease while their liver silently fails. When patients show doctors these foot symptoms, seven out of 10 doctors test for diabetes first, missing the liver connection entirely. Research analyzing peripheral neuropathy in cirrhosis patients shows that this condition is frequently misdiagnosed as diabetes-related complications. With peripheral neuropathy affecting 53 to 82% of cirrhosis patients, depending on the study, what you're learning today is backed by recent medical research from the National Institutes of Health, Cleveland Clinic, and leading hepatology journals, analyzing over 40 peer-reviewed studies on liver disease symptoms. Early-stage fatty liver disease is 100% reversible. There's a window. It's closing. I'll show you exactly what to do at each stage, from the first whisper to the final warning. Let's start with the earliest signs, when catching liver disease means complete recovery. Early stage, when your liver first struggles. These first five warning signs appear when your liver just begins losing function. Catch them here, reverse the damage completely. Sign number one, intense itching of your feet. Imagine waking up at 3 a.m., clawing at your feet with relentless itching. No rash, no bug bites, just maddening itch that won't stop. Your liver can no longer process bile properly. Bile salts accumulate in your bloodstream and deposit under your skin particularly in your feet and palms, triggering nerve endings designed to detect danger. The medical term is pruritus. According to the American Liver Foundation, itching affects the majority of people with cholestatic liver disease, and it's often the first symptom that appears, sometimes years before other signs. The itching worsens at night, in heat, with certain fabrics. Patients scratch until skin breaks, creating infection risks. What to do right now? If your feet itch without explanation for two weeks, request a liver function panel. Specifically ask for alkaline phosphatase and gamma glutamyl transferase. These catch cholestatic problems when damage is still reversible, but itching is just the beginning. The next sign appears on your heels and reveals your liver can't deliver essential nutrients to your body. Sign number two, cracked heels that won't heal. Your heels crack deeply enough to bleed. Every moisturizer fails. The cracks return worse each time. This isn't a skin problem, it's nutrient starvation. Your liver stores and processes fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. When liver disease develops, these vitamins can't be absorbed. Your skin starves for nutrients needed to maintain its protective barrier. Dr. Nancy Rowe, hepatologist at Rush University Medical Center, notes, vitamin deficiencies are one of the earliest metabolic signs of liver dysfunction often appearing before standard liver enzymes become significantly elevated. Those deep cracks aren't just painful, they're entry points for bacteria. With compromised liver function weakening your immune system, minor cracks escalate into cellulitis, a serious spreading infection. What to do right now? Request a comprehensive nutrient panel checking vitamins A, D, E, K alongside liver enzymes. Both abnormal? You've found the cause. Cracked heels signal nutrient problems. The next sign reveals your liver can't process hormones anymore. Sign number three, spider veins on your legs. Tiny red spiders under your skin, a central dot with blood vessels radiating outward like legs. One or two, normal aging, three or more. Your liver is drowning in estrogen it cannot metabolize. Your liver normally breaks down circulating estrogen. When liver disease develops, estrogen accumulates. Elevated estrogen dilates small blood vessels, making them swell visibly under your skin. A 2003 study published in the World Journal of Gastroenterology found that spider angiomas appear in 33% of cirrhosis patients, and the number of spider veins correlates directly with disease severity and the presence of esophageal varices. What to do right now? Count them? Press on the central dot with clear glass. If it blanches white, then refills from center outward, that's a spider angioma. Document them with photos. Three or more requires liver imaging. Spider veins show hormone dysfunction. But the next sign reveals fluid regulation is failing. Sign number four, mild ankle swelling by evening. Your ankles swell by evening, 
shoes feel tight. You assume it's just being on your feet all day. Press your thumb into your ankle for five seconds. Release. If a deep indentation remains, that dimple slowly filling back in, that's pitting edema, an early sign your liver can't regulate fluid properly. When liver disease develops, albumin production drops. Albumin keeps fluid in your bloodstream. Without adequate albumin, fluid leaks into tissues. Gravity pulls it downward. Your ankles swell first. Early stage edema resolves overnight with elevation. Advanced stage edema persists. That difference tells you how far liver disease has progressed. What to do right now? Do the press test, take photos, check tomorrow evening, request serum albumin with your liver panel. Below 3.5 grams per deciliter with pitting edema confirms liver disease affecting protein synthesis. Swelling shows protein production failing. The next sign reveals circulation is breaking down. Sign number five, red and brown spots on lower legs. Reddish brown spots on your lower legs and feet, sometimes shiny. This is hemosiderin deposition, iron from broken down red blood cells accumulating in your skin. When liver disease causes portal hypertension, blood pools in your lower extremities. Poor circulation damages small vessels. Iron deposits create those rust colored spots, literally rust from trapped blood. What to do right now? These spots alongside other signs mean portal hypertension is developing. Request a liver ultrasound checking portal vein pressure and blood flow patterns. Those are the five early warnings. Catch liver disease here and you walk away with complete recovery. Miss them and you enter the progressive stage where damage accelerates. Progressive stage, when liver disease advances. These next five signs mean your liver disease is progressing. Immediate action required. Delay means permanent damage. Sign number six, numbness and tingling in your feet. Your feet feel numb, tingly, burning. Everyone assumes diabetes. Your blood sugar is normal. Stop. This is where millions get the wrong diagnosis. 20 million Americans have foot numbness right now. 18 million think it's diabetes. At least 3 million are treating the wrong disease. Here's how to differentiate. Diabetes creates symmetrical numbness starting in toes, moving up like pulling on socks. Liver disease causes patchy, random numbness. Left foot different from right. Test this right now. Tap your Achilles tendon. Normal ankle reflex? Foot jerks quickly. In diabetes, reflex is diminished but present. In liver disease, the reflex often disappears completely. The 2023 Cleveland Clinic study I mentioned earlier of 254 cirrhosis patients with peripheral neuropathy, most were initially misdiagnosed with diabetes because doctors didn't check liver function when seeing numb feet. What to do right now? If you have numb feet, normal blood sugar, absent ankle reflexes, and other signs from this video, demand a comprehensive liver panel, not basic metabolic. Liver specific, ALT, AST, bilirubin, albumin. Numbness reveals nerve damage from liver toxins. The next sign shows this toxin buildup is visible. Sign number seven, thick, yellow, brittle toenails. Your toenails become thick, yellow, brittle, or develop white horizontal bands. You try antifungal treatments, nothing works. It's not fungus, it's liver disease disrupting keratin production. Those white bands, called Muhrutska's lines, appear when albumin drops below 2.5 grams per deciliter. According to hepatology research, nail changes appear in approximately half of patients with advanced liver disease. What to do right now? If toenails change and antifungals fail, check serum albumin. Low albumin plus nail changes confirms liver disease, not fungal infection. Nail changes show protein synthesis failing further. The next sign reveals toxins are now damaging nerves throughout your body. Sign number eight, burning feet at night. Your feet feel like fire, especially at night. No fever, no injury, just intense burning disrupting sleep. This is hepatic neuropathy, nerve inflammation from liver toxins. Your failing liver can't filter toxins. They circulate through blood, damaging peripheral nerves directly. Those damaged nerves misfire, creating burning sensations. What to do right now? Burning feet with elevated liver enzymes confirms hepatic neuropathy. This indicates your liver has lost significant detoxification capacity. Immediate intervention required to prevent progression. Burning shows advanced nerve damage. 
The next sign reveals toxins are now so concentrated, they're coming through your skin. Sign number nine, persistent foot odor. Foot odor persists despite washing, antibacterial soap, everything. There's a distinct, unusual smell you can't eliminate. This indicates hepatic fetor, characteristic odor from toxin accumulation. When your liver can't detoxify ammonia, it releases through skin, creating persistent unusual odors in feet and breath. Dr. Paul Thuluvath, hepatologist at Johns Hopkins explains, hepatic fetor is a late stage sign indicating the liver has lost most of its detoxification capacity. When patients describe persistent unusual body odor alongside other hepatic symptoms, we know we're dealing with advanced disease. What to do right now? This symptom with other liver signs requires immediate medical evaluation. Advanced hepatic dysfunction is occurring. Persistent odor signals severe toxin buildup. The next sign shows your liver can barely function anymore. You've entered advanced territory. Sign number 10, foot arthritis without injury. Sudden foot and ankle arthritis, no injury, just pain, swelling, inflammation that appeared from nowhere. Liver disease, particularly hepatitis C, triggers inflammatory cascades throughout your body. Those inflammatory compounds attack joints, causing arthritis symptoms in feet and ankles. What to do right now? Sudden unexplained arthritis in feet requires hepatitis C screening alongside rheumatoid factor tests. Many people discover hepatitis C only after developing foot arthritis. You've now seen 10 warning signs across early and progressive stages. The final four are emergency signals. If you have any of these, you need help today. Advanced stage, emergency liver failure territory. These final four signs indicate severe life-threatening liver disease. This isn't early warning anymore. This is emergency status. Sign number 11, severe swelling that doesn't resolve. Your ankles, feet, legs are massively swollen. Swelling doesn't resolve overnight. You can't wear shoes. Walking is difficult. This is advanced pitting edema from cirrhosis. Scarred liver tissue blocks normal blood flow. Portal vein pressure reaches two to three times normal. Fluid leaks from vessels into surrounding tissue. Press your swollen ankle. The indentation remains for minutes, not seconds. This indicates severe portal hypertension from advanced cirrhosis. What to do right now? This requires urgent medical intervention. Request immediate liver imaging, ultrasound or fibro scan, to assess scarring degree. You're looking at the difference between aggressive treatment and transplant territory. Massive swelling shows circulation has collapsed. The next sign reveals waste buildup is now visible on your skin. Sign number 12, yellowing of your feet. The soles of your feet turn yellow. Your skin has yellowish tint. This is jaundice visible evidence of liver failure. Jaundice appears when bilirubin exceeds three milligrams per deciliter. Your liver can't process and eliminate bilirubin from broken down red blood cells. It accumulates in blood, deposits in skin, turns you yellow. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, visible jaundice indicates stage three or four cirrhosis, advanced disease requiring immediate hospitalization and evaluation for liver transplant. What to do right now? If you see yellowing anywhere on your body, call your doctor today, not next week, today. This is life-threatening liver failure. Jaundice reveals waste processing has failed. The next sign shows blood clotting is now dangerously impaired. Sign number 13, easy bruising on legs and feet. You bruise from barely touching furniture. Minor bumps create large, dark bruises taking weeks to heal. You notice bruises you don't remember getting. Your liver produces clotting factors. When liver disease becomes severe, clotting factor production stops. Your blood doesn't clot properly. Even minor trauma causes significant bruising and bleeding. What to do right now? Request prothrombin time test immediately. Normal is 10 to 12 seconds. In liver failure, it extends beyond 12.5 seconds often reaching 15 to 20 seconds or higher. This means you're at risk for catastrophic internal bleeding. This is medical emergency territory. Easy bruising shows clotting system failure. The final sign is the most urgent. If you have this, stop watching and get help now. Sign number 14, purple spots that don't blanch. Purple or red spots on feet and legs, press them. They don't fade, they stay purple. This is purpura. Your clotting system has failed completely. 
This is emergency level liver failure. Normal broken blood vessels blanch when pressed. Purpura doesn't blanch because blood has leaked from vessels into tissue due to severe clotting dysfunction. According to emergency medicine protocols, non-blanching purpura in patients with liver disease indicates imminent risk of life-threatening hemorrhage. What to do right now? If you have purpura, call 911. Go to emergency room immediately. You face catastrophic internal bleeding at any moment. This is life-threatening. What to do right now? Your action protocol. You've identified warning signs in your feet and legs. Here's your exact action protocol based on how many signs you recognized. If you have one to two early signs, schedule liver function panel within two weeks. Request ALT, AST, alkaline phosphatase, bilirubin, albumin, catch it here, reverse it completely. If you have three to five signs spanning early and progressive, schedule appointment this week. Request comprehensive liver panel plus fibro scan or ultrasound. You're in the reversibility window, but it's closing. If you have six or more signs or any advanced signs, call your doctor today, same day appointment. Urgent liver imaging required. You're past early detection. You're in intervention territory. Here's exactly what to say. Doctor, I need a comprehensive liver function panel checking ALT, AST, alkaline phosphatase, bilirubin, and albumin. I have multiple symptoms in my feet and legs suggesting liver dysfunction. When results return, look for these. ALT elevated above 25 for women, above 33 for men, active liver cell death occurring now, albumin below 3.5 grams per deciliter, your liver can't make proteins, synthesis is failing, bilirubin above 3.0 milligrams per deciliter, you're in jaundice territory, advanced disease, request fibroscan or ultrasound, blood tests show damage, imaging shows scarring, the difference between treatable fatty liver and permanent cirrhosis four changes starting today while scheduling those tests start these four evidence-based interventions today one eliminate alcohol completely even moderate drinking accelerates liver damage when your liver is struggling two reduce sugar by 80 percent sugar drives fatty liver disease research shows that weight loss of 7 to 10 percent can reverse nash while weight loss exceeding 10 percent can reverse fibrosis in patients with fatty liver disease 3. Eat cruciferous vegetables daily. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage activate your liver's detoxification pathways. 4. Lose 7 to 10% of body weight if overweight. Research published in Hepatology shows this alone reverses early fatty liver disease completely. Natural, free, proven. But here's what most people don't know. There's one natural compound with legitimate clinical evidence for liver support. A 2021 meta-analysis of eight randomized controlled trials found that black seed oil reduced liver enzyme levels significantly in patients with fatty liver disease. I'm talking about real research, not marketing hype. The right way to use it, the wrong brands to avoid, the exact dose that works, I cover all of it in the next video you need to watch. Your feet reveal what's happening inside your liver. 14 warning signs from early stage itching to emergency level purpura. If you recognized three or more signs, schedule liver testing this week. Early detection equals complete recovery. Late detection equals fighting for survival. The window is open right now. It won't stay open forever. Which warning signs did you recognize? Drop it in the comments. Your experience saves someone's life. Hit that like button if this information added value. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss critical health information. Watch next, the 10 biggest black seed oil benefits you've been missing and how to use it right. I reveal the exact protocol, the one deadly mistake that harms your kidneys and why 90% of black seed oil sold online is contaminated or fake. Click the video appearing on your screen right now. Your liver, your health, your life. Take action today.